going to show you how to use any trans in order to back up the social media applications like WhatsApp from one device to another. So if you want to back up all your conversations and stuff like that, you know, all the photos you received on WhatsApp or Viper and so on, you can do so with any trans. Now any trans is available both for Windows and for Mac OS. There is also a free trial available if you want to test out the program and it has support for all iOS versions including iOS 15 and so on all the way down to probably iOS 10 or 9 or so. If you go older than that it's possible it will work, it's possible it won't. But down to iOS 9 I'm pretty sure it would work. So yeah there is definitely support in there and of course it does support the newest devices like the iPhone 13 and so on. So to get it you go here to iMobi.com and of course search for any trans all-in-one iPhone content manager. Now the program itself doesn't only work for you know WhatsApp and stuff like that. You have the phone switcher option which allows you to copy the entire device to another device for example iPhone to iPhone or iPhone to Android and so on. Then you have various converters like the HEIC converter which basically converts the standard photo format from iPhone to JPEG, PNG or of course any other format you want. They even have a ringtone maker inside this program if you want to create your own ringtone because as you probably know famously or infamously iPhones do not allow you to select a song from your music application as a ringtone. You have to create special ringtones with a program and so on. You can download applications directly to your device if you're signed into your account and of course you can do screen mirroring as well. Other things you can do is basically to back up your device. You can back up, restore and see your backup history. And then of course you have access to your media library, to your iCloud library if you sign in. You can see your contacts, calendar, photos and so on. And you can even export this data. And then of course you have the device manager. I'm going to plug in my phone now and show you exactly how it works. Alright, so I have connected my device, it's the iPhone XS Max in here running 15.2. You can see the device in here, you can drag and drop files directly to it, for example photos or music or PDFs and so on. But we have to go here to Social Media Manager if you want to back up WhatsApp. We select WhatsApp in here and of course you can see you have three options in here. Backup WhatsApp, WhatsApp to device and of course restore WhatsApp. It says in here transfer WhatsApp data from an Android device or old Apple device to a new Apple device with one click. So if you have an older iPhone or if you have an older Android device and you switch to iOS and you want to basically import all your conversations from WhatsApp, you can definitely do so with this button here. So if you want, for example, to move the social media data, for example, WhatsApp data from Android to your iPhone, it's actually quite simple to do. You would go here to WhatsApp and you would select transfer now. And in here, of course, you have two options, the source device and of course the destination. The source can be either iOS or Android, but the destination can only be iOS. So you can see that it already detected my G6, which is an Android device, LG G6. But if your device is not detected, you would have to go ahead and enable developer mode. And then you would have to enable USB debugging. You do get instructions here on the program if you connect your Android device for the first time. So for the source, I'm going to select the G6. And for the destination, it would be my iPhone. And as you can see in here, it says, please turn off Find My iPhone. So if you do have Find My iPhone enabled, you would have to go here to settings on your iPhone, go to your account, and then and find my iPhone and turn it off. All right, so with the iPhone set up in here and the Android device set up on the source, we press next and as you can see, it tells us that we have to create a backup for the WhatsApp data on the Android device. So we basically just have to follow the instructions here on the screen and it's now complete. So I'm gonna go here and press next and it says install WhatsApp enhanced version to the second device. I'm gonna press next and as you can see, it downloaded the application to the device and I'm gonna press to install it in here. So it's now installing the enhanced version, which will take a couple of seconds and it has installed it successfully. We're gonna press next and it says in here, restore data from WhatsApp. It says, please log in into your WhatsApp account and then follow the steps below to restore backup immediately. And now we have to make sure we press restore on the screen that appears instead of skip. So I'm gonna press restore in here and yes it's doing that now. I'm gonna press next and as you can see it says analyzing app data and it's restoring everything. All right so as you can see it says in here restore process completed. Successfully restored 2.4 gigs of data. That's quite a lot. So that's how you restore data from one device to another. Now if you just want to back up the contents of your WhatsApp conversations directly to the computer you press in here. Once you do it asks you if you want to enable the password protection. It says backup from device iPhone. It says it's recommended to enable backup encryption. This will keep your backup data secure and private. You can basically encrypt the backup by toggling this in here and inputting a password. I'm gonna say one two three four five for now but of course you should pick a much better password. Then you press ok and it says here please enter the password to unlock the device. So in this case 
my iPhone has a passcode and I'm being asked to input my passcode on the phone, which I'm going to do right now and that's it. So I did that and now we have the backup path in here. You can select where you want your backup to go. I'm going to press change path in here and I'm going to create a brand new folder here on uh, desktop that I'm going to rename backups and then I'm going to select the backups folder here and press open. At this point I'm going to press next and it's going to start backing up my WhatsApp data to the computer. It's as simple as that and restoring it from a backup is as simple as that as well. The program is actually made to be very simple to use. What iMobi usually does and does very well is programs that can be used by absolutely anybody even if you don't have any you know technical skills or you know not tech savvy or stuff like that. Their programs interface usually can be used by almost anybody and it's not exactly hard to use. And of course if you do get tangled into the program there is an FAQ and a guide available here on their website. If you press on the guide you can see exactly what you need to do for each and every single function of the program. So we're interested in the social messages manager and in here backup social messages and as you can see you have all the preparations you need to do, selection and what you need to press and everything I explained in this video everything is in here. So yes it's definitely helpful and it's definitely very well put together here. If you do get tangled into this they do have proper documentations for every single feature of this program including what the difference is between the free trial and the full version. Now our backup is still doing in the background because it's a huge backup. I basically use WhatsApp a lot for business purposes to talk with my customers and stuff like that so it's actually containing a lot of conversations. So of course depending on how many conversations you have and how many attachments in those conversations this can take a while. Get a cup of coffee and just kick back and relax. The program will do anything. You don't even have to actually touch your device. Just make sure you don't disconnect it though. So it's pretty simple to use. If you do have feedback for them there's a feedback button in here if you want a feature to be added or of course if you have any problem. In terms of support though they do have proper support. They have a support center here you can press and then you have the option to contact support if you really need assistance. If you searched and searched and you cannot find your problem on the FAQ or the guide there is an option to submit a ticket and you're going to get an answer within 24 hours. You can write in here anything about your problem and even attach files. So as you can see it's 66% in here. Now the program I have tested both on Windows and Mac OS. The difference is not exactly very big. It kind of looks the same both on Windows and Mac OS. You can definitely use this program on Windows and this video would apply perfectly fine on Windows as well. On Mac OS if you want to install it it's actually quite simple. You open the DMG file you get from their website, it mounts and you just open the AnyTrans installer and press next. You will get an icon here on your screen and that's basically it. Now I'm gonna be right back once this finishes here. Alright so at this point it says backup completed. You can see that my backup is basically half a gig in size which indeed is now available in here. iPhone WhatsApp backup, the version from which it was backed up and of course the serial number. You can open it if you want to. Now I'm not going to do that because it has a lot of private conversations. However if you want to restore it at a later time to your device you just restore using this function in here from local backup. You select the backup you want to restore and of course you press next and that will basically be it. So this is definitely a great program if you're trying to back up your device. So definitely check it out in the link below. I'm Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated for more iOS videos and peace out.